But anyway, for more now, we're joined by a Trump supporter from the Isle of Lewis, where Donald's mummy was from. And uh, he long joins us alongside Freddie Gray there. And uh, Freddie's got an opinion on all of this. And uh, first of all, I didn't catch the man. It was Derek. The, Derek. It was Derek was it? McKenzie. And right. I believe that your mother, Derek, had the same maiden name as the Donalds. And oh. therefore, you could be related. You, you think there could be some connection to Donald Trump, family-wise? It's possible. It's possible. But tell me, Derek, what do you think? What do you think of the Donald? Well, Donald Trump just happens to be uh, the world's standard bearer for truth and common sense and honesty. <laughs> uh, well, he certainly he certainly um, is direct in what he what he says. Whether it's truth and common sense is another thing. Freddie, would you agree with that? I think, uh, I think he talks more truth than is generally acknowledged. I think that would be fair to say. Now, Derek, Derek, we're now watching the Donald come off as an airplane there, and that hair, I'd like to see that hair, Abby, if that was possible, uh, flying all over the place. And the question I have for you, Derek, is the Isle of Lewis, which I've never been to, I, w I hope I can go there one day, um, is, are there other people in the Isle of Lewis with, with a mop of hair like that? Oh, definitely one or two. Yeah, because his, mu his mum had that hair. Did you know? Well, I didn't know that. Um, Derek, you run a little appreciation society for Donald Trump. So tell us what your aims and objectives are and how many members do you have? Well, it's not really a society. It's actually what you're referring to is a, a Facebook page I set up when uh, Donald Trump first began his, his campaign. Uh, I, had, I paid no attention really to Donald Trump before he began to run for president. Uh, but as soon as he, he started his bid, uh, I became, as soon as he came down the escalator, I, I, I became very interested in him. Uh, and um, started the Facebook page and got a, some likes on the page. But in response to my Facebook page, another Facebook page was started here locally uh, with the opposite view. Uh, I called my Facebook page uh, the, I, uh, naively, indeed, uh, the Isle of Lewis, Isle of Lewis supports uh, Trump for president. Um, I, I naively believed that lots of people would come out and support him, along with me. But uh, I was wrong. Uh, I don't know whether that's because uh, they didn't support him, or maybe perhaps they just were too afraid to come out of the closet. But the other... Um, Facebook page was called Isle of Lewis does not support President Trump. And of course this uh, situation found its way into the newspaper so that became quite entertaining. But um, Donald Trump of course uh, idiosyncrasies aside Donald Trump uh, I cannot but like him and I don't understand how others uh, don't, cannot like him. Uh, or refuse to like him because I identify with him. I have also suffered in the past for for truth telling. Uh, the truth is the most lethal thing well, in the world, you know. And Donald Trump suffers because he tells the truth. Uh, he he just says things like they are. I mean, look at look at his past uh, successes. There are many of them. Yeah, he, uh, he was very straight with little rocket man. You've got a nuclear button. Well, I got a nuclear button too, and it's bigger than yours. That kind of thing. How can you not like it? And, uh, I think, uh, well, you I know, know Derek, the Trump, the your Trump, enthusiasm. Why you send me pictures of my house? You may well. Well, I think you better ask your wife. <laughs> Derek, you are related to the. Lovely <laughs> talking yeah. to you, Derek. <laughs> anyway, very uh, good. But can I just say, say again? I do think Derek is clearly related to Donald Trump. A because of the impression. <laughs> because he's involved in a, in a kind Uncanny. of Facebook news story. Uh, I think there's definitely some blood connection there. 
There you go. Okay. Thank you very much indeed, Freddie. Derek, thank you very much indeed. Lovely hearing from you and seeing you yes. from the Isle of Lewis. Thank you very much. Thank you.